Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to Small Land. We are up on top of one of the great trees, starting to build our first treehouse. Now, I know at the end of the last video, we had quite a structure built. <laughs> it was a little bit too big, man. I was not happy with it. I kept looking at it after I was done recording, and it was just too big. It was, it was massive, man. It was massive. Bigger than what I wanted, so tore it all down. The good part is we have a ton of resources now for building. What I want to do is I kind of like the way the porch was. Have we had the rounded pieces? So we are going to do that. And then for right here, what I want to do is have our crafting stations, right? So we know that they can all fit side by side. So I think I need to go down four deep on the foundations. And then we're still going to do the inside, kind of like the balcony. That way we can have our bed and stuff up there. So it's, it's kind of like the same idea. It's just the proper size now. So let's get started. It is winter. It is very cold. It's, uh, it's not good not having any type of shelter. So that's done there. I'm hoping to get all of this done today. We should be able to. Now I did go down and get some more resources for like the bark and stuff after last video. So we should be pretty set, especially since we got rid of most of it from the other build. So there's that. Let's get our stairs back out. We are doing the grass ones. Maybe possibly. Here we go. Kind of hard to see with all the snow. But it's also down lower, right? So the other base was set up higher, the foundations. These can go down one more. That's kind of the middle or where it's at. But it's all flat, so it doesn't matter. So that works there. We're not going to go two stories in the front. We're going to go just one. And I'm thinking for the front, we might use... Where's it at? This one. Up top there. I don't know if this is going to come out over the actual porch. I'm not too sure because we don't really have a second floor up here to do that with. But if we do it like this, that kind of opens it up on the front here for us, right? So there's a lot of room in here, even though it's one story, if that's in the proper place. Please. There we go. Yeah, something got broke with snap points at the last update, which is fine, man. It happens, right? This happens. It's still in early access, so we kind of expect that kind of stuff. So that means we can come in the door. Not feel claustrophobic. It'll open it up. And then what I want to do here, let's go ahead and expand our foundations out. And I got the stuff on me to build our crafting station so we can see how far we actually need to go. Let's just do four for now. We can always pick some up if we need to. I really like how you get all your resources back whenever you're building. It just, it makes it a lot easier for experimenting and not worried about losing stuff while you're kind of, uh, kind of figuring out what you want to do, right? All right, let's put up some walls. And we'll put out a couple stations. Now, I might change these out later with some windowed ones. I'll tell you what, let's do this. Let's do... Those two solid. I do like the taller windows, too. And we'll do it like that. Let's mirror it over here. And we'll put up some of the regular walls. This is kind of like a little bit of a... Not really a bay. I was wanting to do like a bay window. Dude, if you've seen my arc videos, I love the bay windows. It's, it's not really like that, but it's kind of pokes out the same way, right? And then wherever we need to come to, where everything fits, we will loop it back in. And those two little pieces will stick out on the sides. It'll be kind of neat, man. It'll be kind of neat. Just... Bear with me, I have something in mind. Let's do... Same thing over here, we'll do the stone cutter station. And then we will do the workbench. Why is this snapping? Can we turn off the snapping for... We can't. I don't know what this stuff is, I should probably look it up. Oh, that's what I want. That's the one I want. Okay. So the stone cutter is actually fine there. Let's put this as close as we can. Now that one's only two. We might be able to get away with two. We'll have to see once we build the bigger ones. I mean, this thing is so massive, dude. Let's turn this one kind of like that. And then we'll grab the tannery. You know what? Maybe the tannery should be over here. A little bit of an angle. Maybe? No? Ah, oh, dude, this thing is so big, man. We should probably mix these. 
Regardless, we're gonna have to come down four, I think, all together. Even though that's kind of short, maybe I can put the cauldron right over there. Let's do this one again. Oh, we do got another one, too. So maybe we can do that. Seems how these two are big over here. Those are small. We have this one, the spinnery we gotta build. Or the lumen spindle, once we get the silk and stuff. So that's not too bad, that's not too bad. Alright, put you back here. We'll just leave it at four. And then what we'll do is we'll grab our foundations. And then we'll put some of the ones like this that'll curve it back in. All right, let's get another wall out. So here's what we should do. We should get rid of this wall like it is. We'll put a window here. That way we got a regular uh, wall, two windows and a regular wall. Do the same thing over here too. That way it kind of matches, you know? Gotta let the light in, dude. Especially during springtime. Uh, dude. Can't wait to see how this place looks whenever it kind of <laughs> gets rid of some of the snow. Don't get me wrong, I love the snow. But it's, uh, it's kind of a pain when you're trying to build, man. I do like how they have it to where the snow will show up for everything that's uncovered. And as soon as you put a roof over it, it goes away. Fantastic, man. Very, very nice. Alright, let's get our curved walls out. Nice. And we will end this right here. I'm not too sure how we want to do the back loft. It might just actually be that kind of shape. Come out maybe one or two more. Depends on how big of an area we need for our bed. So that said, that should leave enough room right there. And then our cauldron and stuff, we can always set out on the side. We can always put like a door or something here. If we got too much room. And have a little deck outside. Which we might actually do all together. Let's do that now. Let's just go ahead and do it. I like it. I like that idea a lot. That way, it's kind of, uh, it's not all the same, right? Changes it up a little bit. And that'll be our cooking out here. That should be big enough. We've got our railings, which are fantastic, man. Oh, I am so glad we found some railings. Now, these are gonna be just regular squared. We're not gonna do the curved ones. We should probably set the cauldron out pretty soon, because I tell you what, dude, I am so low on food. Close! Not the right one. Nice, man. Nice! Alright. Interactive. Cauldron. And we need the... Little wood fire, too. We'll put you right there. And what are we missing for the cauldron? Refine wood and stone. Not a problem. <laughs> Plenty of that stuff over here, dude. Oh, man. So much of it. Alright, so some of you. And then the refined wood, we might actually have to make some. I cannot wait to get my storage in there. Let's go ahead and take a full stack, just in case. I cannot wait to get my storage in there and everything set back up. We got seven. How many do we need for the cauldron itself? Oh, seven. Exactly. Perfect, man. Perfect. All right, get out of there. Get out of there. Ah, oh, dude, I like it, man. This is a lot smaller, a lot more manageable, and it's still fairly large. Like I said, the inside will be big enough to where we're not claustrophobic. It don't have to have the camera jumping around all the time. Let's do it kind of at an angle. There we go. That'll work, man. That'll work. Ah, uh, dude. Nice. Alright, so, for the walls. I have something kind of different set I want to do with these. For, like, the ceilings. Where is... That same one right here. We'll start off with these. Like that. So there's two different ways we could do this. One is like this. And that kind of raises the whole thing up. The other one is to kind of section this off altogether. And leave that flat on the sides. I was kind of thinking about doing that. But if we do it like this, we'll be able to have our deck up top like I was wanting. Kind of like we had in the last one. So let's try this and see how it goes. We should have some corner pieces too. To make that kind of filled in. What is this? Oh, nice. It's for the opposite direction that we're going. Should be this one. Nope. Actually, it might be this one. 
Oh, it is. <laughs> that is fantastic. Cool. So that's the right one. And we'll go ahead and just put them in these, these corners as well. That's a one there. Cooperate, dude. Cooperate. There we go. Alright, let's see how it looks before we do our... That is not the right piece. <laughs> Holy crap! That is not the right piece. Alright, where is the one that we're looking for? It's something like that. It's not that one either. Is there a piece for that? Oh, dude, that might be a... small issue. Alright, bad news is I could not find any of the parts. The good news is there's so many different parts, and then you can auto, or not auto, but manually rotate them different directions. I will play with that off camera because it's going to be one of these, and I probably just need to flip it a weird direction. If I ever figure it out, <laughs> I will definitely, definitely let you know. Let's grab some of these. That's a roof. Do we want... It's a floor. We want some of these. Those will go up here. And the good news about this is we don't have to worry about supports. On the other base, I needed to put some pillars because it was such a wide span. This one is not, so it kind of works out a little bit better. There we go. So that'll finish that. We need to get some of these. Finish this. This one's kind of weird altogether. It should clip in like that. I think it's because I didn't have anything up there. And that side's done, too. Alright, let's grab one more of these. Alright, so that's done there. So that's the inside, man. That is not bad at all. Plenty of space. And then what I plan on doing is we'll have our stairs going up to our balcony over here. Underneath is where I plan on having all of our storage. Now, I don't know if those are the biggest of the storage cabinets. But we'll kind of just space it out for those if we find some bigger ones later. Not a problem. We are hungry. One more. Let's see, one more. Nice, man. Nice. All right. Let's get this going. It's a cold, dude. It's a cold, man. It uses a lot of food. I'm trying to stay warm. So from back here, what we might do... It just comes straight out. That might be big enough. Let's get some stairs going. And this is going to be where it kind of gets weird with the walls and stuff, I think. <laughs> I'm kind of, kind of nervous about that. Let's start off with these for just structural support. That should be deep enough for our balcony. I mean, one would think, right? It just could be like our bed and stuff up there. And this will go up to a second story, so... Either right here or right here. We will be removing this. I just have it up there for us for, like, building, right? Oh, yeah, let's go ahead and just do this. It is going too high. Back here. And then right here is kind of weird. That one might go up. A second story, which might cause problems with our roof. Let's see how that's going to work. Let's do windows all the way up. Let the light in. Oh, that's the wrong one, too. We're supposed to be having this one with the bigger windows. Do the same with this. And I think there are some pieces to fill that in. Yeah, something like this. Maybe, possibly, is there a reversed one of those? There's this. That might work up there once we get a floor or something down. Might have to rotate it a different direction to get that curve. We can always make that a straight wall, right? A straight corner if we have to. We'll wait and see. Let's wait and see. Let's get the rest of this done. 
and we'll worry about that. It's it's easier to do it once it's already kind of set up, you know? Alright, so that'll be good there. Let's get some stairs going up top. We'll do... I like that where it comes up right there. Let's get the ceiling. And then do our other set of stairs here. If they'll fit. They do. Fantastic. Oh wait, why are we going too high? We're just going to a second story. That's gonna be... <laughs> it's gonna be the roof up there. I'm like building a three-story mansion up here, dude. Alright, so that's good there. So like I said, it's just gonna be like our bed and stuff. Let's get our railings. If you know me, you know I really like indoor balconies. They just, they look fantastic, man. And we will have a set of stairs... ...maybe right here. And that'll be going up to the top deck. I guess two sets of stairs. That's not too bad. This will come up. Go ahead and put our door and stuff right here. Let's get some walls set up first. Let's do... Let's do these, man. Let some light in. I'm all about letting the light in. That is really weird there. We might have to change how this ceiling piece is. To see if there's something that goes in there a little bit better. Alright, another door. And then this is all going to be railings. Safety first. You don't want to fall off. Last thing you want to do. Fall off this. You might go rolling. Fall off the side of the tree. That's the way it goes, man. Seen it happen a million times. Alright, so there we go. We can decorate out here. It's pretty nice. I like it. We need to... <laughs> we definitely... Definitely need the railings right here, man. We're talking about safety. Alright, let's get out of that for a second. So, for right here to work, how do we want to do the ceiling here? We could do these. Right? Do one of these here. Or let's do this. Let's do... We just do the flat ones. We could just come up, up and over. Like this. And then we do a flat one. We do it like that. Oh, insufficient materials. We need some more of the fiber. Let's try that and see how it looks. It might look a little bit weird. It's going to be kind of like trial and error to see what we want to do for that to look proper. Are we good on building? We need a little bit more wood, maybe? We're not too far from being done with it now, really. We just have to get this <laughs> kind of sorted out right here. Let's close the door, man. Close the door. It's cold outside, dude. Alright, let's see how this looks. I was thinking about doing something with these. Having to kind of curve up and stuff. Like curve with this, going up. And then up and over. Well, that's, I'll tell you what, let's just try it. We're here, we got the stuff. So you go up like that. Yeah, let's do that. Oh, I like that, man. That looks fantastic, dude. So then you got enough room where you don't hit your head coming up the stairs. Then you still got the... the whole ceiling aspect of it, right? And it's different, right? It's different. Now, what are we gonna do up there? No idea. No clue. We will figure it out, though. One more. There we go. Let's pick up our stuff. Alright, so we do have the pieces like this. Not a problem. That is very, very weird. I have a feeling that's not going to work like that. Now, what we could do is bow it back the other way. Instead of having it concave, have it go convexed. Or flip-flop, whichever word I got wrong on that. 
That might work, because there are some ceiling pieces for that. And then right here, we're going to do some windows. Not that one. Maybe. Possibly. There we go. And that should have a piece like this. Ah, dude, look at it. It's like it was made to be like this. Now, do we have any windows on that? We don't. What is this? Let's fear peak. Interesting. Not that we need one. We might need to put the bottom one. Maybe. Possibly. There we go. We'll put you right here. And you... Right there. Alright. Yeah, this is... <laughs> this is not gonna work right here. It's fine, though. It's fine. Let's go ahead and remove these. I think the easiest thing to do is gonna be just to make that straight. But I want to try one of the other ones. Just to see if it works. If so, fantastic. If not, we didn't really lose anything. All about the testing, dude. Nope, not that. And not that one. So the only thing we really got to do is figure out about... ...the roof piece right there, which should be... ...this. Right? No. This one. Now for right there, will one of these fit? Let's go back inside. That might kind of work, dude. That's... <laughs> that is a funky looking house, man. It's crazy, but I like it. We will put some windows up top there. We'll replace some of those. That'll give me a chance to see if we can do a direct replacement. If, like, we have a, a window wall and I want a regular one, do I have to destroy it? Or can I place one right there and it removes it for me? Alright, so we've got this. That is a weird, kind of like an... Like an egg shape. We don't have anything for that. Okay, so that's not going to work. That's fine, man. That's fine. Like I said, it's all about testing and see what does work or doesn't. Let's get rid of that. We'll get rid of this. We'll do a flat one. A boring, boring flat one, but it's fine, dude. I'm really glad the roof on the top worked, though. So there we go. That'll kind of get that sorted out. Let's do some... Walls here. I like the windows. If you haven't noticed, I'm a big fan of the windows. Let's do this one solid, though. Just because we're going to have windows on the back here, and I don't want it to be too many. Now, how far do we go with this? Maybe... Right there. Let's do another window. Now, we could just end that, right? Not even do that? Just put the roof piece up there. Dude, look. <laughs> Maybe I should have put some of the... the stairs on the other side so I can get up and down a little bit easier. I think that'll work, man, on this part. It's, it's kind of closed in here. You can't really see out unless you jump. And it doesn't really affect anything. All right, then we have this piece right here. If you can... Yep, yep. Right there, look. There's a there's a special place for you. It goes... Perfect. It's like a new... Look. I've been playing a lot of building games lately. Okay? A lot of them off camera. <laughs> they all have different keys for what does what. We will actually make that into a window. So that's not too bad, man. That's not too bad. Up here... I think all we're going to do is a... Just a wall like that. That is perfect, man. Oh, dude, it is fully closed in, too. I like it. Now we don't hit our head going up. I wish there was a light, that ha a hanging light, you could put right there. It would be perfect. It is nighttime, though. Give me a few minutes. I'm going to fix this side right here and then sleep. We'll come back in the morning. We'll put, like, all of our storage down here. Get this sorted out for our bed. The bed's going to be up here. Now, I know it's kind of the same place for going upstairs, but... The bed will go over here out of the way. We can do some decorating, get the rest of our stuff moved in, and see where we're at in life. Well, good morning. Made it to the night. Just adding in some windows. I think we'll do one more right here, and that should be good. Now, we're not doing any on the bottom. Like I said, that whole thing is going to be storage. Let's go ahead and make a bed. 
a simple one. A simple one will be fine. We'll go ahead and put you right here. Can we do it like that? Like this would be fine. Let's put our head, yep, this way. By the window, man. Let that fresh air come in while we're sleeping. We will set this as a spawn point. Nice, man. Nice. All right, cool. So, where we're at in life. Double check for any of our resources on the ground. I think we're fine. Now, I don't think we're going to have to have a fire in here. I'm not too sure. But we still got room right there for the other workstation instead of putting it right here when we get the spindle. I don't know how many more workstations there are, but we need to get some lights and stuff sorted out. Let's grab a little bit of stuff. I think we need some resin. We're good on food. We could probably cook some more. I think we're set. What are we missing for... Building stuff. We've got that, we got that, we got that, that, and that. We got our bed. That's a chest. That's the bigger chest. I'll probably just grab everything and move them in. Seems how they're so expensive. That should be it. Now we do, are gonna put up some of the decorations too. The firefly torch. We only got a couple of those. We might replace these with those once we get some more. The two that I have, I wanna use in the next video. We're gonna do some taming. I really wanna do some taming. And see what we have. So let's get this. Or not see what we have, but see what the other creatures are. Let's do the lights first. Let's do the lights first. We'll put you right there. You will do one more there. I'm kind of wanting to put some out here. We set it on top of the railing. Kind of. Let's see how it looks. <laughs> I like it. But I think over here, the corners might look a little bit better. It's kind of neat. I'm glad you can stack those on top. Options, man. It's all about options when you're playing a game. Give give the people that want to build and stuff all the options in the world. Don't restrict them. I tell you what, the stuff that comes out of people's uh, imaginations are fantastic. Do one more here. One over here. We'll do two up top for the... Where the bed is. Do we want to do it here? Let's do it in the corner. We gotta have some outside. You always want a little bit of light when you're out on the deck. Let's just do two of them. There we go. That should be good there. What do we have for seating? Just some regular chairs. We can put our table up here as well. We're gonna need the bottle cap. We got these already. Let's grab the bottle cap. I think we'll put that kind of stuff outside here. Like the table and chairs. Let's grab... Somewhere in here. Bottle cap. We got 11 bottle caps. Holy crap, dude. I did not realize we had so many. I might set up two sets of tables and chairs just to have more stuff up here. Wait, what are we missing? Did I not grab the bottle cap? Look, dude. There is some weird stuff going on with taking from storage. If you don't right-click it, if you just drag it, it doesn't always go to your inventory. I'm telling you, it's not just me. It's not just me. <laughs> it's not a me thing. It's a game thing. All right, tables and chairs. Go ahead and put them over here. No, you want them by the light. That way it attracts all the bugs and stuff, right? Nice, dude. Nice. Have your dinner up here overlooking your little uh, elevator and stuff. You got the sunset or sunrise, whichever happens over that direction. It's nice, man. It's nice. I wish there was more stuff for building, but we deal with what we got. All right. I am going to put a storage up here for armor and stuff. So there will be some of that there. I think we should probably put some railings right here. What are we missing? I'll tell you what. Probably some wood. We got bark. Yep, we're out of wood again. I mean, we got plenty. There were some in there, too. Let's grab a couple bundles. Maybe. <laughs> Possibly. We might be getting kind of low on it. It's fine, though. Oh, yeah, we needed that, too. And let's see. We might do some out here. I was wanting to not do any railings on these. Because they're clipped so far in the ground? We actually can't because they're clipped so far in the ground. But we can. 
We do this side. If not, I'm not gonna do one side, not the other. There we go. Looks a little bit better. Alright, safety first on that. So, decorations. We've got this bookcase. That one, we need some refined wood. We have to actually make some. Maybe for this, for now, we'll put one up here. Little storage rack. This one's gonna be a lot bigger, and that is a huge table. Oh, we should do the table up there. What are we missing? Refined wood. Let's grab some seed. Get the refined wood going. I know, it's a lot of running back and forth. It's, it's the way it goes sometimes, though. That's the mushroom stuff. Seeds? Anybody seen seeds? I know we got some. I farmed up a bunch of them. I thought we had more than that. We got 20 wood, though. We can always make some more of it if we have to. I thought I farmed up more of that in between videos. This one. Ah, oh, dude, I really like this one. We might set this up here. Let's do this. Instead of doing the... Storage? We do that there. Yep. We got- uh, I know. Yep. Railings are made to be... Yeah, for safety, man. Not for climbing. Let's go ahead and just do one more down here, too. Ah, it's gonna block our windows. That's kind of the whole point of having windows. What do we want to put out here? Maybe one of the tables for the... Looks like we're cooking? You know? Chop up your recipes, throw it in the cauldron. I like it, I like it. We'll put one of these up top, too. It's for like your meal prep, man. That way, whenever you're done cooking, you can bring it up here, set it up there, get everything ready, throw it on your table. Not sure why that... <laughs> that blocks the snow, but kind of cool. Unfortunately, that is pretty much all of the decoration stuff that we have. Now, we do got some more chairs. We could probably put some outside. Well, let's do these over here by the fire. What kind of makes sense, right? Stay warm by the fire. I think one will be fine. Let's move the cauldron just a little bit. It's kind of weird. We should have... a cauldron right here. In the fireplace. Right there. There we go. For some reason, that seems better to me. More space, you know? Alright, give me a few minutes. What I'm gonna do now is go ahead and start getting our storage set up. So, I'm hoping to get... One, two, three, four, five... We'll probably just do five... ...of the storage along the back wall, and then a couple on the sides here. I really wish we could stack them, or put a ceiling in between. There's this, and you can't free float them. Oh, you can! Well, that might be interesting. Let's... Do some science. Let's put one of these right here. Now, there's a roof in here, too. What's the difference in that? Oh, just the look of it. I wish there was a half one of these. We won't be able to put the storage under. Let's grab one. We'll pick it up. Which space we got? Not too much room. Whichever one has the least amount of stuff, we'll pick it up. Definitely not that one. Now, right, give me a minute. Let me get some space in here for us. So, one option is to set this, like, right here. Now, we are losing a little bit of space at the back. Not that big of a deal. But if we do this, we can put one right here. So, that'll fit for sure. And we can do one more up here. I like that. That kind of doubles our space, right? Because we can do one, two... Three, four, five. We might be able to do six. I think five. Five might fit. I had problems squeezing in a bunch on the other one. We'll see, though. We'll see. I'm going to move all these in, and we'll go from there. All right, so all the storage out here is cleaned out, but wanted to show you. It looks kind of neat, man. Not too bad at night with all of the torches and stuff going. Looks kind of cool. I don't know, man. I really like that. I'm glad it worked out like it did with the different curves and stuff. Kind of neat, dude. Kind of neat. Got me some ideas for another base build later on, but let me show you where we're at. I still got a ton of work to do on the storage. Close that. It is kind of cold outside. So I went ahead and removed that one table. I have this as our food storage. We've got everything that is non-meat over here, and then everything that is meat over here. 
So, it's not too bad. We do gotta stock up some. We got that kind of sorted out. I like the snow, man. It's fantastic. Long as you're inside. Long as you're inside. I did go ahead and put a storage here. And that's mainly gonna be just for our armors and stuff. And our gear. Kind of keep stuff separate. Easier to kind of look and find it, right? Now, some of the stuff I will be getting rid of. The crude stuff. We don't need that anymore. I was thinking about keeping it as a backup. Just in case I need something to run back if I lose my stuff. But, I mean, you usually spawn in with your gear and whatnot, right? So, it's not too bad. But, anyways, gear storage there. I should probably put a second set of steps. Just saying. Down here. I've only got four. I need to make up some more of the refined wood. But, what I'm going to start doing is just doing one full row for each resource. It'll be easier. I hate throwing stuff away whenever I'm doing farming and stuff. It's just... <laughs> it's a terrible feeling because sometime you're going to need it. Same with this. So now some things we're not going to have a full stack of, kind of like these screws in the honey crumble. So that can kind of share a row, but once something gets full, we should have enough for a good bit of time. Same thing with here, kind of doing the same thing. But seeing as how we don't have too many different types of resources, which is fantastic in a game, very, very happy about that. We shouldn't need but our little bit of storage here, and that should be plenty. I'm hoping, unless there's something we're really missing. Now where is... The seeds. I need to make up some more of the refined wood. We got the garlic, and I need, what, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight more storage, and that will be totally done. So I got a little bit of work to do, and then I'll come back and show you the totally finished product. All right, well, everything is complete. All of our storage is built. We are totally out of seeds. <laughs> I did not think it was going to take so many. I like this, though. I like it, man. The ceilings are high enough to where we don't have that weird camera thing. Whenever we're going in and it kind of, you know, zooms in and zooms out because you're getting collision. But out here, let's start at the front. Lovely entrance. We've got our elevator right there. You come off. You got your house here. If the thing works with the Thames, we have plenty of room to leave them up here. I'm still not sure how that works with bringing them up here. We'll find out in the next video, though. we got two of our, st uh, not storage, but our workbenches there. We've got some decorations, our other two stations. Plenty of room for our third one. All of our storage. I tell you what. That is the most expensive part of this whole build, all the storage. But we still got quite a few that are empty. I think like all four of those up top and two of those over there are totally empty. Up top here, some more decoration. Our respawn point, it is set, right? It is. We've got our gear storage up on our deck up here, which is fantastic. Got room to put some more decorations if they put them in the game. I really hope they do, man. I really hope they add more for decorating your base. And then the final part... See what, let's do this. Let's do this now. We're grabbing some stuff and doing two sets of stairs. Before we go, we got to, man. We got to. It's bugging me. Pick you up. Let's go to building. Stairs. Two sets. Throw up some railings for safety. There we go. I like it, man. I like it. Two sets of stairs going up. Two sets coming down. Outside here for our cooking and stuff. You always got to be grilling outside, man. I'm just saying. It's the best place to do it. Stay warm by the fire. We got our cauldron, our campfire, and our two storage for our food. We can't expand that later if we need to. Ah, dude. Well, not too bad of a day. Kind of got discouraged in the last video because I didn't really like the way that the base looked. It was, ah, it was weird. It was weird. Very, very glad I went ahead and took it all down. Started from scratch. Sometimes you got to do that, man. Sometimes you just need to stop what you're doing. Take it all down, start over, and kind of go from there. However, we are going to go ahead and leave this one here. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you like our little treehouse, man. I am very, very happy with it. As always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.